Hi, this is Cami from Torch. Today I'm going to show you the process for setting up image tracking within Torch using this book, Interactive Data Visualization for the Web by Scott Murray. I've pre-selected a page and some code we can visualize here. This is code that makes a chart, but the chart didn't fit on this page, so we're going to use AR to do so. But first we need to get a photo of the area that we want to track. So let's grab that. Perfect. Okay, and then we need to get rid of the things that are around the book at least. And maybe I think I'm just going to focus on the area where it says the old chart and kind of straighten it out a bit, which I don't think you need to do, but I always do it anyway as a preference. Cool. Just gonna crop it down a little bit more. Great. Okay, so we'll save that. And now we can jump into Torch. I'd also like to say that I used the measuring tool prior to this and figured out how long it was, which was five inches, which you'll need to know later. Okay, so now we need to exit this and go to projects. And that's the practice one that I did before. So we are gonna delete it and create a new project. So you guys can follow along, call it image, image, tracking, demo. Great, and then once we hit save on this, it's gonna jump us right in. Perfect, okay, so you may notice a bunch of dots and this giant anchor. The dots are the different planes that the app has already found, and the new dots that show up are the plane building. So the anchor is actually really important and we need to discuss it a little bit. Uh, you see me moving it around with my fingers or just with the app, but this placement is important because it's the zero, zero, zero of our space. So everything is going to be built around this spot. We can change it if we want, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But first let me put something in the page or in the scene, sorry, <laughs> so that you can kind of see what that means. So I've got this chart over there, which is the chart we'll use. If I hold on the world anchor, I can move it from where it was and it shows you how the entire scene moves along with it. This is great if you're just like off on where your designs are. All right, I'm just gonna move the chart closer. Cool. Now we'll go back to the book where the image will become the new anchor. So at the top, you see main scene, we'll click that. And then we wanna go to tracked images, add tracked image. And then we'll go to the camera roll and just select the last one since we just took the image. Cool. Now this will take a minute to load and we might see it disappear, but don't worry, comes right back. There it is. Perfect, now we click on it and we can edit it. Uh, we want it to be inches, not meters, and we want it to be five inches, not eight and a half. Um, we also could say if it's flat or upright, it's already selected flat, and that's what we want. Okay, so back arrow, and then anchor, where we'll change it from world anchor to tracked image, select the image that's there, and now you can see the chart has moved to the book because it's now the anchor. And even you can see this placeholder image. This won't be there in play mode, but it's for you to kind of have uh, a map. And this is how you can see, like if I move the book, it still follows along. The book is your world anchor. Cool. So additionally, what we could do beyond just having this one scene that shows uh, the chart, we could make it so that we only see this if we're on this page by using the image lost and image found interactions to change scenes. So go to main scene at the top, add scene. I'm just gonna call it in between. That's what I've been calling these types of scenes lately. And it'll take us right there. And we're going to add a tracked image to this one as well. The same one, really, which is there conveniently waiting for us. We just have to tell it that it's five inches again. 
Okay, great. So now we're going to go to interactions, add interaction. And then we say tracked image found because we're in the in between scene. And we select the same one. And we say action response. You'll see there's three, but we want scene change. Go back to main scene. Great. Now we're going to go to the main scene and say kind of the same thing, but the opposite. So interactions, add interaction, tracked image lost, and then we'll select the same one again. Action response, scene change to in between. All right, now watch when I close the book. It's gone. Open the book, it's back. Closed, gone. Open, it's back. Great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to tell me in the comments what other videos you'd like to see about Torch or how to's. Really anything, let us know. We love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If this was inspirational, use hashtag builtwithtorch. And we can't wait to see what you build. Thanks. Bye.